Okay, so let's open this box and see what we have inside. Triceratopsins. I have a lot of these. So, let's start with this. This is a skeleton of a Triceratops. And, uh, it's pretty cool. I like the horns. They look nice. Although, I think Triceratopses, their horns were originally ribs. Like, some scientists messed it up and then they just put ribs. And then, this Triceratops, it came with two other dinosaurs with parts that come off. So, you can put them together and make weird mutant dinosaurs. And this Triceratops lights up. And it takes quite a, lot, a while for him to turn off, so I'll just briefly show him, but I'll put him down. And then this one, I think I got this from Spain or Berlin or something. I think someone there sent it to me, and that's how I have this one. And I like it a lot. Then I have this Triceratops. It's pretty cool. I like the color on it. I like the decorations and markings on it. And this one blends in really well with the jungle and uh, I like the horns I think they're really long good for mating and this one is a strange type of triceratops you see the uh, fin the hard fin on the head is divided into spikes instead of a solid structure and this one has a baby here it is and they look pretty similar I like the baby it looks pretty cute and the adult is very grown up. It's pretty pretty old, I guess. And this one is from Jurassic Park. And I like it because you can move the head. The horns are a little too long. I think they made an error, but overall it's good. I don't like the rib showing. It looks kind of weird, but it's a pretty good dinosaur. And this, I think, was my first Triceratops, actually. Uh, it's plush, and the markings have worn out a little bit because it's so old. But I like it. The teeth are wrong, though, because this is not a carnivore. This is a herbivore. You should not have sharp teeth. And this one, I like it. It looks like it could hide in the night from the predators that might try to attack them. So, yeah, I like this one. And this one has its mouth open. And thankfully, like some other ones, it doesn't have sharp teeth. But yet, it has the mouth open, so I like that. And here's another one with the mouth open. And it does not have teeth. So, I think... For Triceratopses, they don't put the teeth with the type that have the mouth open. And this one I always thought was kind of weird. It's big, so it looks like an adult, but the face looks like a baby. So I never really understood if it was adult or baby. I guess it's juvenile. <clears throat> this one has these horns on the edge of the fin on the head. It has a single horn here instead of two other ones there. Another one with the mouth open, similar to the other one. I think this one actually came from a birthday cake. And then this one, like an Allosaurus that I had in the previous video, um, I painted all over him. So again, he's like a carcass, like a dead dinosaur that another dinosaur is eating. And this was another one of my first Triceratopsis. It's not plush, it's like filled with air and it has like this strong rubber around it. I like the horns, I don't know why, but I just think, like, they're shiny on the top, so they look pretty cool. Now, this one has a mouth open, but it has teeth, and this is a herbivore, not a carnivore. So, I think with the other ones, they got it right, like, this is a mistake, but they fixed it. And I like the coloring of this one, I like how on the bottom it's, like, almost white, a very light blue. And then towards the top, it gets darker and darker shades of blue, so I think it's pretty cool. And then this one... It doesn't really have spikes coming out of the hard fin, but it has like short studs coming out, so I like that. And this is a baby um, Triceratops. Looks cool. I like the horns. It looks very funny. And then this one I got from a book along with this one. These two came from a book. And this was one of my first Triceratopses. I like it a lot. And these two came from a birthday cake, I think. And they're pretty cheap. They only have one horn, which looks funny. And then I have these two, which are uh, very flimsy and weird. This one's actually called a Chasmosaurus, but it's a relative of the Triceratops. And this is a Triceratops. And I got these at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> and this is another Chasmosaurus. Or Chasmosaurus is... I don't never really knew how to pronounce it. And no triceratops. This one's very plain.
Okay, so I have a bag, and it has a lot of similar triceratopses, which is why I put them there. I have these two, which, actually no, just one, I think, yeah, just this one, although this one does have a different color. But this one doesn't go there, I just put it because the size was similar, so I got confused. But all of these, I think, came from the same sets. Like I said, I bought three sets that have cheap dinosaurs, and so that's where these came from, and they're what makes up most of my Triceratops collection, I have so many, and they're all very similar, although they're good to make, like, herds, because then you can make a large herd of Triceratopses moving, so I like them, they're pretty nice. And so this is my valley of Triceratopses, which is pretty big, and I put it on a playmat with trees, rocks, and volcanoes, so I like it a lot.